Good evening, YouTube world. We're back with another one. What's going on? It's been a while since we've been here. Uh, we've done a few beach bear reviews. It's been a long time since we've done a home bear review. So Genicals we're back. Journeys Bear Review. We're back with another one. Last time we did the boom box from uh, Dogfish Head. Obviously, we didn't do any research because... That's how we do. It had three cheers. So, obviously, we didn't research it and say, oh, this, look, you know, this beer could be right up our alley. We just saw the box. We said... That's pretty cool. Let's rock with this one. Did we learn our lesson or did we go with another box that looked pretty cool and we went with that? Um, we went with another box that looked pretty cool. So we have no, <laughs> no idea what we we're going to rock here. But this is the Tiki Escape Mist Pack by Stone Brewing Company. Stone uh, Brewing Company. I think I've had the Stone IPA before. Maybe. I think so too. I think that's pretty well known. Yes. Um, Based out of California, this brewery. That's what they're known for, IPAs. I think they also do brewing in Virginia as well. Yeah, so we're going to find out if this is a cheers or a jeers. We're going to rock it, rock and roll. We're going to give it an honest review. We're going to let you know what we think. Um, and as we always say, this is reviews from not beer connoisseurs, just people who are just drinking, normal people who are going to say, hey, I want to try this beer. Let's rock and roll. Let's taste it and let's see what it tastes like. We've got four beers today. Four beers, that's what they are. All got some cool art on there. And we're going to read a little bit about the company and a little bit about the beers, what we can find in the box, and share some details with you guys. And along the ride, as always, we'll let you know what's going on with the journey, what's going on with our lives, and uh, we'll do a little bit of catching up as well. Absolutely. Well, first, we're going to rock some beers. So what are we starting with? So we're starting with the Stone Buena Vista Salt and Lime Lager. Salt and Lime so, Lager. Interesting. This is like probably like supposed to be like a Corona. Yeah. Hopefully it's not like a Bud Light Lime because although I do love my handy dandy Bud Lights, I am not a fan of Bud Light Lime. I think it tastes so artificial. So. I'm not either. I was back when it first came out, but I definitely grew out of that. I recently had one and I was like, oh, I remember why I don't love these anymore. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a pour here and show you the color and a little bit of what's going on with the pour. And as always, we got our unique, not really supposed to be for beer, but <laughs> our um, trademark glasses for our in-house beer reviews, at yeah. least. So this looks pretty light. It does look similar to like a Mexican lager, I would say, like a Corona for sure. How's it smell, Michael? Well, I'm not a sniffer, but I, I'll do it for, for um, just for you. It smells like a lager. It's pretty good. Pretty good. We didn't cheers. No, cheers. Yeah, I like that. I would definitely get that 10 out of 10 times. I would, my um, opinion is I will do it without the salt. I, you could taste the salt at the end, and I don't necessarily want salt in my beer. I love it. But it's a good lager. I'm going to give it an 8.2. I love it. And if you open the cap, it says, um, leave no stone unturned. So I don't know if you guys can see that there. Pretty cool. Yeah. So let's see what the bottle says. Let's see what the art is first. That's cool. Look at that. That's a pretty bad, that's a bad label. Kind of reminds me of Stone Cold Steve Austin with the, with the skull there. I love that. And as it, the beer goes down, the eyes get like wobbly. I love that. This is a great Halloween beer. You're having a Halloween party. Stock up on this tiki pack. Love yeah, this. Absolutely. So there's a little bit um, blurb about Stone Brewery here. Do you want to read that, Jen? Do you want to? I mean, I like your voice better. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is Stone Buena Veza Salt and Lime Lager, Baja inspired San Diego brewed. In 1996, Stone Brewing was founded in San Diego County just minutes from the border. Since then, influence from our southern neighbors have enriched and impaired us to be undying mission to brew bold, flavorful beers. One such inspiration is Stone, our Imperial Stout original release in 2014, to bring the rich, complex flavors of Mexican hot chocolate to beer. Interesting. Hmm. It's with mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. <laughs> that we now follow with our take on a classic lager that is similarly inspired and tasty. Stone Bueno Veza Salt in Lime Lager. Hmm. That was a lot. I was not prepared for that. After that reading, I'm going to have a little more beer. <laughs> I think I need a little more beer. I think you're going to read the next one. Hopefully it's the same thing so I don't have to read it. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Just as long. 
Yeah, this is really yummy. This is versatile. It's light. It's refreshing. Um, I my normal drink lately has been Corona Premier, which is better than Corona Light. If you haven't tried it yet, it's just like a good summer beer. Corona Premier. This is very similar to the Corona Premier flavor taste. Me, I like the um, original Corona, which is why I got a beer gut because I don't, I don't do no Premier low calorie beers. <laughs> On the back of the box has the alcohol content. Can we take a oh, look at that? Oh sure. Right at the bottom. All right, so which one? So this was a 4.7. So not too not too shabby. It's on par with a Bud Light in the alcohol content scale, um, which is why we started with this one, because as, you, as you'll as you learn later on, it's going to go up in um, in the potency um, as we go along with this journey here. There's a little sneak peek of what we oh, are. Oh, you're giving us some spoilers there, Jen. No just, spoilers, no spoilers. So get that see. away. Get that away. Rup, 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 rup. Just so they can see what we're working with. So I believe these are um, gargoyles. I think those are gargoyles. And it looks like they're under the sea because there's like lobsters and fish. It looks like a little mermaid scene with like a big gargoyle. So we'll have to figure out what that means. If you guys know, let us know below. Yeah, Emma Miller, you're from San Diego. So if you happen to um, stumble upon this uh, video, comment below. Let us know if you've been to Stone Brewery before and um, what you think of it. Yeah. And as all you other fans, as I always say, if you have a chance, if you see there's a new video up and you want to go to the package store, get a quick 12-pack um, of Stone Brewery and follow along with the journey, by all means do so and let us know what you think about that as well. Join along. Join, Join along, along with the journey. Watch our old videos we've done before if you haven't seen them yet. We've done a bunch of New England beers. We're starting to branch out of New England because we've done a lot from this area and again michael said the box was cool we're going into the spooky season so we figured we would go with it and so far so good 8.2 so it's a cheers it's so a far cheers. yeah so not bad not not a bad start not a great start but not a bad start i gave it 8.2 i think you're going to score it a little higher than me because you said you really like it um but here we go are you ready for the next one or you want to hold off a little bit i'm ready yeah did we finish the bottle we got a sip left, but we did that for the happy recap, I guess. So the next one is the Tangerine Express Hazy IPA. Tangerine Express Hazy IPA by Stone Brewery. You don't want to wait for that one because that one's going to be fruity. So once you have fruit in your mouth, you might not be able to get well, it out. Well, that's the box says to go All right. in this order, so we're going to go in this okay. order. Okay, it does. One, two, three, four. That does not say to go in that order. That's actually backwards. Yeah, well, I think that this this box wants you to go strongest to lightest, but in Jericho's journey, we go lightest uh, to strongest. Stone Brewery, if you are watching this, please confirm or deny that you're supposed to follow the order that it's on the box. And if not, as always, Jericho Journeys always does a curveball, particularly in our food reviews, but hey, why not? Let's do it on the beer review, too. Look at that pour, guys. This is a little darker than the first one. It's definitely like a hazier um, IPA. And this sip is dedicated to Wright's Farm. Wright's Farm, thank you for sharing our chicken review that we did yes. a few episodes ago. Yes, it went went to a ton of views all of a sudden. Thanks for all the support. People on Facebook have been reaching out, talking about how they used to go there back in the day. And it sounds like it's bringing back a lot of memories for people. So cheers to Wright's Farm. If you haven't watched the video... Go watch it. And this is pretty good. I'm normally not a fan of um, like fruit and beers, Ooh. but this is a really good um, IPA. I like that. I'm a fan. Yeah, that's good. That's really yummy. It's not too tangerine-y. 8.5. Eight, 8.5 five. Eight, five for this one. Oh, you're going to read the blurb again. Here we go, Jen. This is long. The this lovely long. Jen's got another um, a <laughs> little blurb just, about... We could just hold it in front of the... In front I'll of read the, it. I'll read it. It's long again. <laughs> I'm sorry if my voice is not as lovely as the lovely Jen's. <laughs> Don't, don't um, unfollow us because of my voice. The creation's uniquely hazy appearance is a credit to the glorious whole tangerine puree in every batch. Using the whole fruit allows us to har harness every bit of its natural depth of character. Pithy, crisp bitterness complements its distinct juicy citrus. Just the right, right amount of pineapple and, and this being stone 
a whole lot of hops, rounding off this beer in an amazingly hazily citrusy, tasty paradise of flavors and aromas, guys. Good job, Michael. Cheers. Yeah, hold on. Let me put in a little <laughs> more. Cheers. Excellent reading. <laughs> what does the cap say? Same thing. Same thing? Yes. Cheers. 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 So, Cheers. a little background on why I don't like public speaking. Um, I went to Catholic school as a kid, and I had to do a reading in church. And my older brother was in the same school as me at the time. He was in eighth grade. I think I was in fifth grade or something like that. Sixth grade, maybe. And um, I go up to the reading. I see his face, and he starts laughing before I even say a word. So I start going, uh, 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 stuttering. And then everybody started laughing. So I was a chooch. You know, everybody started laughing, thanks to my older brother. And since then, I didn't like public speaking. So when you're the best man at the wedding and you, uh, 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 I'm going to laugh at you. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. My... I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sure you do very nice. And I won't laugh at you. I'll love every moment of the speech for, that you and my younger brother will give. And you're going to rock and roll and you're going to kill it. And cheers to you guys. Ask us how wedding planning is going. <laughs> Without asking us how wedding planning's going. <laughs> but I would like to thank them. Um, they they showed me a lot of love in, in Vegas, and we had a great time, so cheers. And Kay Loveless as well. So wedding planning, we're almost there. We have a big event coming up next week that I'm sure you'll see sometime in the in the future. Maybe at a beer, at a brewery. But stay tuned for that. Yes. Lots of exciting stuff happening. Lovely Jen, what do you rank this beer? Love it. She loves it. So she's not going to give her score. She doesn't <laughs> give scores for the beer reviews, but she does give it for the food reviews. It's a yes for me. That's a, it's a yes for me. It's either a yes Two or cheers. a no. Two cheers. Two cheers yes. so far. <laughs> I'm not into ranking the beers. There's too many. It just gets confusing. It's either yes or no. It's eight, yes. two, and eight, five so far. If I do um, forget the scores later on, it's because I drank a few, you know, quite a few alcohol, you know, and sometimes I forget, and then my dad will pick on me about it. Yes. But no handy dandy so far. So far we're rocking and rolling. Are you ready for for round three? Not yet. I have a couple more sips. A couple left. more sips. Okay. Um, I did also want to say congratulations to two of our followers for becoming aunt and uncle for the first time. Cheers to you guys and to your whole family. It's so exciting. Well, she's going to keep it a secret, but cheers to you guys. I know of one of the aunts and uncles. I'm not quite sure of the other one. C and R and Trap. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Congrats. Two thumbs up. <laughs> and J and M for having their first child. Two thumbs up there too. J and M, not us. No, not, not us. us. No, no, not this. We're drinking beer, so clearly it's not this J and M. Different J and M, and um, Reverend Kim. Cheers to you for oh, also no becoming a. Coming in, Auntie, and to your whole family. So excited. A lot of big things for our for our fans. Yes. The weather's been beautiful. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Keep those windows open. Get that fresh air while you can enjoy it. Enjoy the sunshine. I'm enjoying my Trademark Fedora while the season still is in. Uh, but unfortunately, summer is over. So um, we got about one or two more lobster roll showdowns to give you for this year. Uh, but then that's it. Lobster roll season's over. We're going to go right back to that chicken parm throwdown. And then, like, right from, we're we going to do really some, we we're gonna really do some other reviews on top right of that as well. Yeah. So um, we got some big things planned. We, we never really stopped, stopped the chicken parm throwdown, no, though. No, like, that's, we, it just like, slowed down. Once a week. We were just <laughs> doing a lot of lobster roll showdowns because it was a season, and yeah. that's a shorter season. So you got to, you know, yeah. knock them down. And yeah. we're going to have a big episode come December with the... Um, Jenicals Journey Awards, so best lobster roll show it on, best chicken parm throw it on, best beer review we've done, and best hotel we stayed at, to name a few. Um, so stay tuned for that. Maybe we'll go Instagram live for the awards. This is actually the first I'm hearing of this. So. <laughs> I just come up with these things on, off the fly, you know. So Jenicals Journeys, best like of the it. best awards. I like it. Let's be real. We're all so going to be. So let's go see what's the best of the best. We'll go Instagram live. So hopefully you guys can tune in for that. We'll give you the info for that shortly. 
if you have a recommendation that we haven't gone to already that you think we should get in before the end of the year, drop it below. Um, chicken parm, we go anywhere. We travel for chicken parm near and far. Or we'll go, 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 as yeah. I said in the video earlier. We'll go, go, go. You name Tell a place, us. we'll go there. We'll check it out. We'll Let try you guys know it. how it is. And if it's a cheers, don't feel bad because we're doing honest reviews. So. And also... We're talking about doing a giveaway. Michael says we have to get a lot more followers. I yeah, say, yeah. No, I no, say, no, no. we need more subscribers for <laughs> giveaways. But we will do. Well, Murph Mania's won a giveaway. Uh, unless, he's just you having, a, unless you want to sponsor us and <laughs> send a gift card to uh, one of our followers, then let us know. We're gonna go to the next beer. <laughs> but one of the one of the awards for the Genicals Journey Awards will probably be fan favorites. So we'll give you an opportunity to go what you think out of all our reviews, was the best spot. So stay tuned for that. We'll give you the date for the Genicals Journey Best of the Best Awards. That's going to be in December. I mean, I would say it's like a New Year's Eve episode. We're yeah, probably going to be in quarantine anyway. Let's Maybe we do it from a hotel room somewhere. Right? We'll do a hotel room and we'll do our... Why we'll not? get dressed up and Why do not? our countdown in the hotel. What so this beer I dedicate to... Um, Jonathan Brown Menzies because he was just telling me that he just fell in love with Scorpion Bowls. Oh wow! And this really? beer is called Scorpion Bowl. So, wow! Can I see that? Yeah, absolutely. We will um, we'll link his YouTube page here at the end of the video. He is one of our friends, followers, supporters, and he's been uh, making videos like this for a long time. He's been doing this for a long time. Lots of good content on his page. If you haven't yet, check him out. We've done a couple collabs with him, so you might recognize his voice from our videos. Cheers a, to you guys. And a side dedication to um, Mr. Murph Mania 86 because in college we used to hit up the Panda Garden, I think it was called. Uh, in Bennington, yeah. Vermont, for some scorpion bowls. So yes. after like a hard day in school or just a casual day, and just we just look at say, hey, some scorpion bowls. We'll go down, drink some scorpion bowls, go back Gosh. on campus and drink a bunch of handy dandy bottle of ice because that's the way we roll. But cheers. cheers, guys! Happy, excited to see you guys soon. Oh, I don't know about this one. I want that they like it a lot more than I do. I'm not going to crack open the handy dandy because it's not awful. It's average, though. So I'm going to give this a 6.1. First person who messages us about my hat and what it references, you get to suggest our next drink. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Don't forget to like the video. But well, you have to comment below. You can't comment <laughs> via text because, no text because some people call shenanigans when I awarded Murph Mania the award. Show because, your support so. to the rest of the world. Do not hide it. <laughs> so Scorpion Bowl IPA is a punch to the stinger. Definitely. For this ale to have landed Definitely. in your hands, it has su survived a rather exotic journey. Mm. It began as these things do as, as these things do far, far away in an untamed land where desert isles and safari traders Whatever. This is too much gibberish before we know what the beer is. It's just, um, what is this kind of? It's a Scorpion Bowl IPA. It doesn't even tell me what kind of IPA this is. Wow, this is. Very, it's a long story. Very long. That, um, ancient, it's about ancient ritual drums, tropic sands, deep in the jungle, scorpions kiss. I'll tell you what I'll do, if you'll excuse me. I'll, I'll read you what the alcohol content of the last two beers were. So Tangerine Express was a 6.7. Ooh. Well, a, wait, wait. Oh. There's a good quote. There is a good okay, quote. Okay, she has a quote for you guys. Here's a quote. This explains it pretty well. Stone, I, uh, stone Brewing's words of wisdom are... <laughs> Um, my moon and my sun, my fairest one, a liquid dream of delight to awaken in the night. That's good. That's all you really need to know about the back of this bottle. That's nice. Well, she loves that quote. I do. All right. Okay, what did you say? All right. So Tangerine Express is an IPA packed with whole tangerine and pineapple. That was the previous beer, which we, which I scored an 8.5. Scorpion Bowl IPA. It's going to smack you in the face. It's a 7.5% alcohol. It's a mouth-watering fruit punch to the palate. So it doesn't even tell you the fruits that are in it. It's a fruit punch to the palate. So it's a lot of fruits. Not on here. Maybe that's why I don't like it. But I I don't hate it. So 6.1. Uh, 6 so are they calling it punch because it's like a fruit punch? Is that a 
the name? And Miller, once again, if you know, comment below. Because we don't know. I don't think it tastes like super fruity. I think it tastes like normal IPA fruity. I don't. I just don't. It's not my cup of tea. But it's not awful. Boombox was awful. We're being transparent here. We, we tell it like it is. I think somebody didn't like that we were so transparent and they, they said, oh, screw you guys, but we're going to be transparent about it. We tell you how it is. If the beer is good, we give it a high score. If the beer is a cheers, it's a cheers. And that's just our opinion. Some people love it. We, our beer, like, vocabulary yeah, everybody has is, different not, palettes, is you not know? very big, so we would stick to the basics. Yeah, I said from <laughs> episode one, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to sip and I don't do that stuff, you know. I'm just a normal beer drinker. Drinking beer is going along for the ride. I love Bud Light, but I'm expanding my horizons. That's how we rock and roll. That's it. She likes, right now she's loving the, um, are you loving it this year, this batch? The I, har harpoon pump pumpkin? It's not harpoon. I mean, whatever. The shipyard pumpkin beer? I'm not going to say I'm loving it yet, no. Four years ago, she fell in love with Shipyard Pumpkin. No, Every, many everywhere. years before that. Everywhere we went, she had to get Shipyard Pumpkin, <laughs> Shipyard years. Pumpkin, Shipyard Pumpkin. As the batch of has gotten more popular, I guess, the quality has gone down, unfortunately, for her. It so. just tastes different. It tastes different. What's your favorite pumpkin beer? That's another thing to comment. I've tried a bunch of pumpkin beers. That's always my favorite. I haven't found one I love equally. I go back, I try them, but... I have to try a draft, and I need to try it with the cinnamon sugar rum. A Hartman, you know what's up with that. Yeah, my brother visited from um, NYC and brought A Hartman along for the ride, and while the ladies were having pumpkin beers, me and my brother were having handy-dandy Bud Lights, because that's how we rock and roll. Well, my brother likes <laughs> other beers now, but when he's with me, he, he, he goes old school with me. That's right. All right, what are we going to try next? I'll take a little more of that. Oh, he's going for mm. more, so he doesn't hate it. That's a 6.1. He doesn't Did you hate it? it? No. This is good. So October, right around the corner, big things for October. So besides our wedding, which is a big thing, we got a huge, huge, huge hotel reviews coming up. So super excited about that. Um, those videos will probably get posted in November because we're not going to post it while we're on the honeymoon. But Maybe we will. Maybe we'll post a teaser. We'll post a teaser. <laughs> Maybe we'll do her, her giving a tour of the room sober and then me tour, giving a tour of the room when I'm drunk because um, a anthrop here, or our anthrop that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> when we check in originally, when we first get there, and then 12 hours later. <laughs> yeah. I once did a Vegas review that the Anthrops love. I love that. So um, We can splice it together. Like, when you're describing the bed, then, like, I'll describe the bed. We'll, like, go back to back. <laughs> the sober version of the, of the story. And then the drunken version that's of the funny. story. That's funny. I like that. <laughs> That's just an idea where, you know, I'm just coming up with these things on the fly right now. Yeah, this is going to be an excellent hotel. I haven't taken a vacation in, like, a thousand years, it feels Excellent like. hotel. That's your hint right there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That is it. So we got one more beer to go. Did we say everything about this beer? We showed them the bottle. What does it say on um, that? I read it already. No, this is a fr fruit punch pack beer. There's one more um, blurb on the top. Oh, you want to read this blurb? That's for you. No, you have a better voice. <laughs> you read that, I'll get the next beer ready. All right. Uh, so this is about the artist. It says, David McNeely, also known as McBiff, is an American artist from Huntington Beach, California. His unique new mid-century pop style displays an intriguing habit that is reminiscent of a commercial ad industry of bygone era. His renowned work in pop and tiki culture make him the perfect guest artist for a mixed pack box of tiki inspired beers. So cute. We will try to tag him in this. Um, we're going to try to tag both of the company and the artist of course. Because shout out to them. Cool art. We love supporting artists and local and anyone that's 
trying to make a living. So check these people out. They've been around for 25 years. Um, what else? They have a merch. They sell merch on their website. I saw. A little movie trivia for you guys. Macbeth combines the last names, or at least two characters, a good guy and a bad guy, in a 1980s movie. Can you name the 1980s movies that Mick Biff is a combination of two characters? That's so easy. <laughs> That's so easy. Do you know it? Yes. Well, you can't say <laughs> it. Because then it's going to be a spoiler. She can tell me afterwards and I'll let you know if it's right or wrong. Uh, <laughs> you want to do the pouring? Yeah, I woke this up. What's the bottle look like? Ooh. So I'm pretty sure gargoyles are for protection. I think that's what these are supposed to represent, protection. So this is the Vengeful, Vengeful Spirit IPA. 7.3% <laughs> alcohol. This has, uh-oh, this has pan, pineapple and mandarin orange. So this might be a jeers, guys. Let's find out. I'll do the porn. Show them. Show them. Bam. <laughs> Ooh, it smells very pineapple-y. So this is the last one, guys. Cheers. I need to take a, sec a second sip. I like that. That's really yummy. India Pale Ale with pineapple and mandarin oranges. That's yummy. Initially, I hated it, but now I don't hate it. It's it's yummy. Six nine, six nine. It's not bad. It's a fruity IPA. Yeah. So two cheers, two averages, no cheers. So Stone, you get a thumbs up, guys. All right, I'll read this as quickly as I can and try not to mess it up. We've often been inspired to brew beers on a theme. In 2007, it was black IPAs. 28 saw Belgium-influenced IPAs. And more than once, it's been triple IPAs. It's been fun to dive deep, and you've ridden those waves with us along the way. But like you, we also crave new breaks to surf. With Stone Vengeful Spirit IPA, we employ a bit of tropical mythology to pay homage in our ever-present gargoyle. Is a gargoyle. In 1996, they he's had our backs in your since 1996, he's had our backs in yours by representing an intolerance of commercialized beers. He constantly inspires us to forge ahead with resolve even in forces of forceful evil. Vengeful spirits can be awesome when they're on your side. Cheers. I love the blurbs. I just wish they were condensed a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the more, more beers that you drink, it's probably like, people probably look at those and probably think about it and ponder, but reading them out loud. To... <laughs> look at Stone Brewery. They, they, they throw in the words of wisdom on their own. Yeah. It's good. I like this one. So this might be our PAs, the resistance guys. No. All right, guys. So to recap the um, this episode, I would say the Scorpion Scorpion Boy IPA was last place for me. What would you think? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, it's hard to pick. I'll go first place was... Where the hell is it? Maybe it was Tangerine Express. It's his IPA. <laughs> Randomly. 8.5. He doesn't know. 8.5. 8.2. <laughs> now he's just making up No, no. Yes, I, yes, it sure was. 6.5 and a 6.9. So Scorpion Bow was my last place. Venture Spirit was my third place. The Stone Buena Vista, Buena Vista Salt, Salt and Lime Lago was my second place. And randomly, Tangerine Express Hazy IPA wins the gold medal. That's it. That's 
official rating. That's the official rating right there. <laughs> That's the Genicles Journey <laughs> ranking of Stone. Tiki Escape Mix Pack right there. What from do you think? California slash Virginia. So we're giving it to you from Massachusetts with love. Special shout out to Stone. You did a pretty good job. Will one of your beers make it to the December bash of Jennifer's Journey's Best of the Best Awards? Well, you guys stay tuned to find out. And now, would you like some words of wisdom? Yeah, let's have it. Some words of wisdom for y'all. Life is short. Friends come across, good friends come across very, very rarely. Don't let a friendship end over BS. Settle the stuff, get it over with, and move on. Because in the end, you might have a lot of regrets if you don't. So until next time, guys, peace, love, and keep drinking. Cheers. We'll see you next time. Much love and take care.